Hey there, welcome back to The Nook. I'm Sarah, and for today's workout, you just need something to hold. So it can be a weight, obviously traditionally, in this situation it is. I'm using an emoji pillow today. It can be anything at all, and you'll see what we're doing in a few moments. So grab your object, let's stand up, let's get warmed up. We're gonna start with an easy twist. Hold your weight or your object. Very easy, just starting to twist it out. We're doing a lot of bending and a lot of twisting today. So as always, listen to your body. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Make it more of a wood chop action. High on one side, low on the other. So as we begin to get into things, you'll hear me say your range of motion quite a bit in this one, last one. And then we'll switch it. So we're gonna go high the other side, high the other side, and low. So does that mean you need to twist as far as I am? No, maybe you can twist deeper than I am. Just do what feels right in your body today. Last one, hold your pillow or your weight out in front and lift those toes towards it. So legs are straight, doesn't matter how high you get as long as you're feeling the stretch to the back of your leg. Keeping those arms out straight, switch it. So turn it into a butt kick. Start to engage through your core. Arms are straight and strong. You'll quickly realize if the thing you're holding is too heavy, and that's okay. Pause it and go find something else. One more each leg. Spread those toes really, really wide. Reach this up and tip it forward. And stand it up. Tip it forward and up. It's like a modification of a good morning stretch. So back is flat. If you can only go this far, only go that far. That's better. Last two. Arms come up, lean it over. So finding that big side stretch, keeping that or engaged, using your abdominal muscles to help you stand up tall. So besides your object, you need some water and just about this much space today. Last one, other side. Hold your object at your chest, lean it over one side and switch. So sinking your hips back like there's a tiny chair behind you. It doesn't matter how low your chest goes. If anything, your chest stays lifted. It's all about how low your hips go. Last one, the other side. And relax it. Grab a quick sip of water. I'm gonna tell you how our workout's gonna go today. We're gonna go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition. So it won't be necessarily rest as we get up and down off the floor. For most of the moves today, you need your object, so keep it nearby. And we're gonna dive in. Our first one we're gonna do today is going to be a squat variation, 45 seconds on. So find that base, toes face forward, hips over heels. With your object, you're here. You're gonna squat it down, lift it up, and then other side, and lift it up. So your goal, Let's get started and I'll explain more. Get low, reach high. Get low, reach high. So sink as low as you can into those heels. Bring that object at least to the front of your foot or behind. So once again, listening to your body. What do you need today? And if you got some back trouble, modify it. Just go here, it's tiny, it doesn't need to be a huge range of motion to get the work. Keep moving, you got less than 10 seconds, and then we're gonna be down into the mat. Coming down in three, two, one. Sit it down, go right into a Russian twist. Plant your heels for this first one especially. I'd like to see everyone plant their heels, flatten your back, tilt back, hold your item, and then twist. Super slow. So maybe that item gets to the floor, maybe it doesn't. Most important part, keep those abs pulled in and up. 
you find yourself that your abdominals are bulging out, reset the system. Start tall, pull them in, and then do it again. And only go back far enough so you can keep them pulled in. We don't want to train them pooched out. Five seconds, make sure you're breathing. Two and one, stand it up. That similar stance from the warm up. find your feet wide, toes facing straight ahead. We're gonna lunge it down, lunge low, lift high. Lunge low, lift high. Join me when you're ready. Doesn't matter what leg you start on, because we're gonna flip it right after this one. So let's go arms straight. I'll say straight-ish on this one. So shoulders get the work, upper back gets the work. If at any point the thing you're holding is too heavy, set it down, do it without it. Most of the workouts that I do, especially the ones I share, don't involve weights, because I don't want to limit your ability to do the workout if you don't own weights, and that's okay. 10 seconds. Switching sides in three, two, one, just switch sides. It's bend the opposite way, lift to the balance. Now your balance might not be like my balance. Your balance might be here. Keep it the leg low. Your balance might be a tap. So good. So strong, make sure you're sinking low into that lunge. I caught myself cheating on that last one. Sink low. Three, two, one, relax it. Come on back down. This time feet are gonna go straight up in the air. Object overhead, we reach up all the way down, but don't let that object touch. All the way down. If you want a little more work, squeeze whatever you're holding together. If it's a stuffed animal, this is a great one because you can make it smaller, physically make it smaller. got this. Your whole back is on the floor, but especially the small of your back. That lower back is on the floor. Three, two, one. Relax it. Stand it up. Our transition going back up to our curtsy lunge this time. So pick a foot forward. It'll be same like the side to side, so there's no break in between. Here we go. We curtsy it out. We stand it up. Ooh, there goes the balance. There goes my object. We curtsy out, hips facing forward. We stand it up. Now, if your balance looks a little bit like my balance today, curtsy out and then just tap together. I was going to try to move back a little bit so you can see my item in the air, but I can't. My length is stopping me here. Fifteen seconds until we switch to the other side. As you go low in that curtsy, squeeze those hips towards the midline. Three, two, one. Just switch sides. Step it back. Square forward. Curtsy and up. Take a minute to get the form on the second side. When you get low, you want those hip pointers facing forward. realize how fun, how more fun it would be with our, uh, my emoji facing you here. Not just my plain yellow sun pillow. You fall out and you don't have the balance today, like not me on this side. It's okay, we put a smile on our face. This kind of emoji on your face. 
and you just keep going. Rejoin us when you're ready. You got 10 seconds. And then we're back on the mat. Two and one. Bring it on down. This time, item's gonna start behind one wrist. Feet are gonna be about as wide as your yoga mat if you have a yoga mat. If not, just a little bit wider than hip distance. Press up into this plank. It's pull the item all the way through, push up. Pull the item through, push up. Now, not doing a full push up, that's okay. Pull the item through, drop the knees, push up. Back up on your feet to pull through, then modify the push up. Pick your poison, what do you need today? Do you need the modification? Do you need the full thing? Do you need a combination of both? But I want you to try to be on your feet for the pull through. 15 seconds. You got this. People that grabbed a waiter are probably regretting things now. Like, I wish I went with that stuffed animal. <laughs> Next time, raid your kids' rooms. <laughs> Three, two, one. Relax it. Deep breath. Stand it up. Turning those feet out for a sumo squat. This one, a little bit of a combination. First time through or first half through, straight up, straight down. Arms straight. Get low. Lift high. Arms straight. Low and high. So feet are turned out, knees are tracking over your ankles, so your knees are turning out to the side. This one's slightly different because we kind of have like a finisher for this one at the end, but just focus on what you're doing right now. How low can you get in that squat? How high can you lift your arms? Maybe even come up on your toes. Three, two, one. Now hold the squat. Item right above your head or at your chest if you're not comfortable. It's tip and tilt. Back and forth. Keeping your chest open if that item's above your head. It's just a bigger range of motion. But if you have a weight, don't put it above your head. Keep it at your chest. Sink low in those legs. It's not as long as a regular round, it's just a finisher. You got this, it's 10 seconds. Can you sink a tiny bit lower? Three, two, one, relax it. Come on down to the mat, side plank. Now this one, you don't need your object, but keep it nearby. So we have our side plank. I'm gonna go from my forearm into my side plank. Lifting up, it's a loop. I loop it under. My shoulders, my hips face the floor. I turn it back to the side. So having my feet staggered really helps on this one because I don't have to adjust every time. If I'm in a modification, meaning my bottom leg is down, no problem, it's still here. Just turn it into the modification. But your goal is think, I'm facing the ground, I'm facing the sidewall. I'm facing the ground. I'm up, everything faces the sidewall. Switching sides in three, two, and one. Just a deep breath and then right into it. Side plank, face it under. So you're more than welcome to try to stack your feet and twist, but you'll find your hips get stuck, right? Your hips can only go so far. I'd rather have you stagger the feet and twist everything facing the mat. So good. And you've got five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. 
Yes, we get the 15 seconds. Feet together, heels a tiny bit apart. So those thighs will squeeze your item right in the middle of your chest. You get low and up. You get low and up. You want a bigger challenge, lift it out front. You probably can't see my arms, so it's a bad angle with the camera. Get low and up. So arms can be just as active in this one. Or if your arms need a little bit of break, hug it towards your midline. It's gonna be our last standing posture. It does have a finisher like the sumo squats. So know that it's coming. Make sure you're sitting in your heels so much you can wiggle your toes at the bottom. Three, two, one. Hold low, just like the sumo squat. We hold low, we twist, and twist, twist. Those obliques are working. Twist, can you sink your hips a tiny bit lower? If the object is too much, put it to the side. I'd rather have you get the twist. Try to keep your hips facing center. Ten seconds. Can you sink even lower? Lowest one of the day. Last one standing. We have one more on the ground, and that's it. Three, two, and one. Down on the ground. Put your object out in front of you. Our final one is going to be a plank, but with a reach out tap. So take a deep breath. It's our last 45 seconds of work, and you can modify the plank or put it full. I want your feet together or your knees close. Here we go. Tap, plank, tap, plank. You want it harder, move it away, and have that reach be real out in front. If you need it a tiny bit easier, spread apart those feet to stabilize. If you're in the modification, it's the same exact move. But the harder version is gluing those legs together, trying to stabilize and not shift totally side to side. You got this. No mountains with those hips, no valleys. You got 15 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, lower it all the way down into the mat. Put one ear to the side, windshield wiper those legs. Relax through your upper body. And then reach back for one foot to find a quad stretch. Pulling your heel towards your hip. Keeping your knees close together. Big inhales and exhales, slow your breath. Switch which way you look, and switch which leg you grab. Roll it on up, roll it on over. One leg in, one leg out. We're gonna go over the top first, so let's stretch that side body that works so much today. Your goal might be your foot, but let's not sacrifice the side body bend to get it there. Reach it up, reach it over, keeping your chest open, maybe even gazing up towards the ceiling. And then we'll fall to the center, keeping this foot towards the sky, feeling it in your inner thigh. And then our last one this way, now we'll switch our shoulders towards that extended leg and think heart to shin or heart to knee to find that length. Maybe our hands can walk out on your shin or your toe. And come up nice and slow. We'll do the same other side. Kick the other leg out. One leg in. First, we're going over the top. Reach it up over. Noticing the difference between each side. Look up underneath that arm. Yes, you'll feel this in your leg, but the, mo the biggest stretch you should feel is through your side body here. We'll 
come back up, go from center, inner thigh. And then back up, turn those shoulders towards that straight leg and then refold, reaching what you can reach. Your shin, outside of your ankle, maybe your foot. Come on up, have a comfortable seat. We'll do one more behind you. So put your hands behind you. Walk those pinkies towards each other. Shine your heart forward. Your gaze goes up, maybe where your wall meets your ceiling. Maybe even on your ceiling if it feels okay in your head. Opening up your shoulders, opening up your chest. Big inhale. Exhale. And walk it apart. One more inhale together. Inhale it up. Hands meet at the top. Drag them right down to this midline. As always, I like to thank myself for showing up today. It's not always easy, but you did it. Welcome to the workout of the week. Please subscribe so you can get every week really work out. I can change it up. Some Tabata, some hit stuff, some yoga, some stretching. Yes, some stretching. And make sure you subscribe so you can be notifi notified when I put a new one up every single Sunday. Once again, I'm Sarah. Go have a great week.